there, Josh, you're from Lucha Cantina here today with Mark Henderson from WIFR, who's just celebrating 18 years as your local weatherman. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so thrilled to be here. This is a really exciting opportunity. As you know, my family and I, Lucha is like family to us here. We've been here for day We've had baby showers and bridal showers here and so many other uh, different outings here. So, so cool to be on this side here. That's right. Once. You know, if that weatherman thing doesn't work out for you, <laughs> we, we, we can put you behind the stick here making some drinks. I, I haven't done anything thing yet so let's uh, let, let's not get too far ahead of uh, ourselves. We're confident this is going to work out just fine. What are we what are we what are we going to do here today? I always love your, your your different cocktails because they're so fresh they're so innovative I, I feel like I'm, it, it's it, it's just the best. You know one of the, the pleasures we have here is we have Drake as our head bartender who literally knows everything about spirits and makes great drinks for us but today we're not going to do one of his because they make it <laughs> a, little, a little maybe 201 or 301 and we're going to stick to 101 here today. That's a very smart move. Some, some basic cocktails and this today we're going to make the Paloma which is is the most popular drink in Mexico. I really? like the, you think the margarita, yeah. but the people who actually live there drink the Paloma because it's nice and easy to put together. Wow. So we're gonna teach you how to make it. All right, so what's the difference between a Paloma and, and, and a margarita? Man, you're asking the hard questions now. <laughs> this, Paloma has soda in it. Okay. So it, instead of just using um, tequila, triple sec, and then lime juice, this and, and a sweetener like agave, this has tequila, has a little bit of lime juice, and then we're, you're gonna use a grapefruit soda. Fantastic. For us today, we're gonna use Q grapefruit soda. If you're making this at home and you don't have Q grapefruit soda, Run down to the gas station, grab a bottle of squirt, gets the job done perfectly. Might even like it better, who knows? Perfect. So we're gonna put some ice in the glass here and you're right. gonna grab that bottle oh of El Jimidor tequila. All right. And you're gonna grab that jigger right behind it. The top half of that is one and a half ounces and you're gonna fill that up and put one of them into each glass. One in each, all right. all right. I never knew this was called a jigger before. It's true. Why? I have no idea. I, yeah. Would be a fun fact, but I don't have that to share right now. Maybe Drake knows. Maybe Drake knows. I'm sure he does. All right, so tequila's in there. Perfect, and the lime juice goes in the other side. The other half ounce side. I like this, more more uh, tequila than, than juice. Absolutely. So one of the things interesting in our business, Mark, is that we see a lot of times if there's a bad weather on the weekend, it's gonna rain on a Friday or a Saturday or snow or whatnot. And everybody we hates actually, me. We, they hate you, yeah. but you know what? It ruins their plans, that's why they hate you. Yeah. But then they have nothing to do, so they come to the restaurant. So a lot of times it works out for us on the weekends. How does that feel for you knowing that, you know, sometimes you're the bearer of bad news, the don't shoot the messenger guy? Uh, I, I don't like being the bearer of bad news, <laughs> but you know what? Now that I know that it's not bad news for everybody, you actually kind of made my day here. <laughs> Perfect. I, so it's one man's feast is another man's famine. I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be to know that sometimes bad weather does ha have a benefit. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. Reach across to here, put a little salt on there. We're going to drop this right down into there. Do the same here. A little salt down there. Down in. And these are two fresh cocktails. Easy to make, as you saw. Yeah. If you're looking for something a little bit spicier, throw a jalapeno in when you shake Ooh. it up. Want some mango in there. You can do whatever you like to really change up the drink. It's really versatile. If you have, basically, we're using El Jimador silver tequila. If you have any tequila at home, it works in this drink. Añejo, Reposado, expensive, cheap, doesn't matter, makes a fantastic cocktail. Fantastic. Let's give it a taste, see what you think. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's so refreshing. That's something that you can have after you mow the lawn or Absolutely. just on a picnic or you can have this year round. It's just because so you're watching TV. Oh. Yeah. I don't think I really need a reason. I'm pretty happy a, with that. It's a day that ends in Y. That's right. <laughs> well, thank you for coming out today. Thank you. And thank you for watching. If you want to know anything else about Edgebrook, you can go to edgebrookshops.com. You can find us on Instagram or on Facebook. Thank you so much. Have an awesome weekend.